welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom and another Flappy, sorry, Slappy game. Uh, Slappy plays on the North American server, and he, yeah, well, I always said he was, uh, he, he was best known for his replays in light tanks, but then he promptly proved that wrong by sending me mediums, artillery, heavies. Anyway, so he's just damn good at the game. Um, he plays on the North American server, as I said. He is driving for us here the awesome Pinocchio. This is the French tier uh, 8, pre no, yeah, tier 7 premium tank, premium light tank, the MX1357. This was originally put out into the game as a um, special tank um, to commemorate one of the, I forget which now, one of the conferences that Wargaming do, uh, one of the events Wargaming do, and um, then they released it more generally and Originally, you had to have a, a horrible load of camo on it. Now you don't have to. Now you don't have to. Now he's taking up his opposite number. Now you saw the immediate problem with this tank. It's not got much alpha. About 90 average alpha. Fantastically fast gun. In fact, I believe I'm right in saying this is the fastest alpha gun. Hey, don't get too close to that. Oh, we're lucky he didn't have the dirt. Fastest firing gun in the game. In fact, it fires so quickly that a lot of the time you can't. You have to wait for it to aim before you can actually shoot. Otherwise, his shells will go flying all over the shop. He's on Corellia, his top tier. Initially, went and did a scouting job, and it was almost like he went, you know what? I'm I'm top tier. I'm going to go and kill the enemy, and that's what he did. Came up there, wrecked that AMX, got helped helped out by the artillery, took down that Panzer, um, but also got helped out by the artillery. And it's reloaded with premium um, because although this this thing does actually have pretty good pen, I mean bear in mind he is top tier, shouldn't really need any high pen. Uh, that goes at 195 with that uh, those APCR shells, and it's only 100, it's 149 with um, the regular shells. Put a couple of shells into that um, American tank uh, Thunderbolt back, backing up, and then got well and truly doofed by a T29. Uh, nope, not by a T29. Yeah, it was by a T29. So, he's warning his team where the T29 is. Um, I thought it, for a minute, I thought it was that T34 that hit him, but no, it was not. But he actually finishes him up, immediately goes for a reload again, premium rounds. Yeah, you know, I don't like too much premium, but I guess he's a light tank going up against mediums and heavies, but yeah. There goes the enemy ELC. It was a bit rash, pushed through the centre. Now, interesting this game, and I've seen this, seeing this more and more frequently. You have um, one team not committing anything to the northern side. And that can really put you in trouble, although, you see how the way with those shells are? Now he slowed his firing down, because by firing rapid shells like that, he had no time to aim. And the shells, the, the uh, shot balloon, um, shot, what do you call it? The, um, oh, hang on, reload. The receptacle bloomed like crazy at distance there, and because he was trying to fire before it properly aimed back in. Spotted that Sioux, but it wasn't loaded. There's our friend in the T29. No point firing at that turret from here. Well, anywhere, for, to be honest, that turret at this tier is... Um, impregnable it's impregnable at even higher tiers give him a bit of hull though and we might be able to hit him so slappy is calling down artillery strikes to be fair his team are trying to hit that t29 but not having a lot of success at the moment fortunately he seems to have backed himself into a little corner and avoided it Uh, the uh, <coughs> sorry, OI expert. <laughs> oh god, that poor guy just got spotted, and it was like boom, 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 boom. The game is so unfair on heavy tanks nowadays. I think those big stupid heavy tanks 
unless you're top tier you, you just you're just there as HP bait for everybody else um, looks like that T, T1 is AFK which is a shame yeah it just it feels like I mean every time I take out something I've VK100 or I, I know I get no sympathy for say a, a type 4 or type 5 heavy or OIs or anything like that you, you just unless you're top tier you're completely knackered because you get seen so quickly everything is firing gold at you and it just is just, what's the point really that so poor OI experimental is probably thinking much the same had a good progression around the north there got spotted boom 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 and he's dead and that's him back to the garage and he's wondering why do I even bother grinding this tech tree um, of course they come into their own a bit more in city maps but yeah not not really anyway so uh, flappy has pushed forward again the team's doing okay but they're kind of very static um, if you see that nobody's supporting him the t1 heavy is sort of coming our way but not really that useful at the moment nobody's really committing themselves we isolate and take down the t20 uh, t3485 artillery splashed nearby but missed thankfully so now he's losing the uh, spot and he's off on his trails again there goes another shell cracky that artillery held its nerve uh, for a while there only splashed us only did a little bit of uh, stun on us there's that t29 we can't do much about him so Flappy is off for the races again. He's done 2,000 damage at the moment. Uh, 1,600 assistance. That sort of thing. Not too bad. Not too shabby. But not too flappy. So he knows, I think he, he realised that the T29 is probably his biggest um, threat at the moment. So he's pulling round try and get some side shots or maybe progress up and take out the enemy artillery uh, the enemy artillery has just taken our oh nice t29 is down okay so that makes things a lot easier there's a stug up there he's gonna hold his fire he wasn't spotted but stug obviously knew, knows he was spotted first artillery shell just misses I don't know whether that second RT shot landed. Yes, it were. Uh, no, but well, it doesn't matter. He's down anyway. The Lefafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafafaf
However, he did use quite a lot of premium and he was also using food. So he actually only made 31, um, nearly 31 and a half thousand credits. Would have lost 2,000 without a premium count. And with the times two, 5,614 XP for the crew. So nice job. Really well played by Slappy. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. In the meantime, enjoy your games. Have fun. Try not to take it too seriously, and I will see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom, signing out.